Uh, yeah, definitely. I think we realized that, that that was pretty much the reason we lost that game was uh, turnovers and then them converting on the turnovers. So we're focusing on that this week and you know, just ball control uh, against uh, their zones. So. What has coach talked about so far that's going to be the most important to being able to handle the 1-3-1? One, one? EJ said he feels like you guys didn't attack it. Yeah, I think just attacking it and uh, you know, not getting lazy with passes or, or uh, plays and like coach said, getting low uh, you know, when you are getting trapped or if you're trying to dribble through it. So you know, it's just a different look and uh, I think that's why people struggle with it. Just, you know, just the fact that not many people do it. So uh, yeah, I think we're just focusing on, on ball control, definitely. Did you guys struggle to simulate it in practice last time? Was that um, No, I mean, we, we definitely uh, worked on it and, and uh, feel like we simulated it pretty well. You know, but uh, of course it's different when, when you, of course, when they're running it. So when, uh, you know, we're just going to keep focusing and keep working on attacking it. Is their length the biggest problem with them? Uh, their length definitely has a big part to do with it. Uh, they put, you know, Collier and Moreland up at the top there and, you know, that creates problems. And I think, you know, like I said, the main problem is just you don't, you don't play against it very much. So you don't get much practice against it. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're definitely going to attack it and, and stay confident against it uh, this week. Tell me that. Does the loss the first time around motivate you? Definitely. It motivates us a lot. Um, you know, they came and took one from us at home. And, uh, you know, especially with where we're at in our season, uh, looking forward, uh, we, we need to win this. So. It should be their biggest crowd of the year, but you've played well on the road. Does that help going into this game, your success so far? Definitely. I think, you know, this is a group that, you know, for whatever reason, we, we've played well on the road and you know, just really came together uh, on games on the road. So uh, I'm excited for the atmosphere, to be honest, and it should be a lot of fun. Do you even think of this as a real road game, Garrett? I mean, you guys don't have to go for it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a little weird, but, you know, when you walk in and, you know, they're all yelling at you, you'll realize quick it's a road game. But, uh, you know, to be honest, it's, I think that's a lot of fun and it uh, should be a good rivalry game. Do you look forward to playing in Gill? I imagine it's a place you went to a lot growing up. <laughs> background, your family background. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, I, I've always had good games at Gill since I've been here. Uh, enjoy playing there. So um, it, it'll be definitely fun and my last game there. So. Did you go there a lot growing up? Do you have memories? From uh, yeah, there? definitely going to games. Uh, you know, my dad was friends with some, some players that played there uh, during his time. So, you know, I'll probably see those guys. But... Uh, yeah, it'll be a fun game, definitely. Does this game mean a little bit more that it's your last Civil War? Definitely. Uh, yeah, I think, to be honest, I think it just means more because of where we're at in our season. And, uh, you know, it's my senior season. And, uh, you know, you don't want to look too far ahead, but, uh, you know, the NCAA tournament is what we've had our eyes set on all year. And we're kind of right on the bubble, so we need it. Are you guys paying attention to the, the bubble talk? You know, last, I guess last night, you, according to ESPN, your last four out, or first four out, do you pay attention to, to that? Um, you know, I mean, you notice that, that people are talking about you, which, you know, I guess is a good thing, but you can't really uh, think about it as far as too much. You just got to control your own destiny and win the games that we have left, and hopefully that puts us in, in the position to get in. I know you want to win every game, but do you guys have the mindset now that you have you can't slip up, that you do have to win out to have even a chance at making the tournament? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I think we realize that, and you know, seniors are are preparing for that, and uh, you know, I think that's what we're we're focused on. Cunningham did a lot of damage in transition. Does you guys take care taking care of the ball? Has Dana talked about how that stops Cunningham getting off? Oh yeah, definitely. Because I mean, that's where he got a lot of his points were just uh, steals and, and open layups, or you know, them getting steals and passing ahead to him. So uh, he's he's very dangerous and athletic uh, on transition. So that's where we gotta, you know, not turn the ball over. We'll stop that. Both you and EJ have said that these last three games you guys have to win. How do you just focus on Sunday? Um, yeah, you know, I think we're just kind of forced to. Uh, you know, they beat us, so we, we definitely can't look past them. And then, uh, so, you know, it's just uh, you got to take it one game at a time.